Hello everybody, SCP Slayer here, and welcome back to another mod review. Now, today we are reviewing the new update for the Faithful Backrooms mod. Which is an interesting one, because it adds a lot of quality of life stuff, and also a few new items. So, we're going to start with the items, of course. We have the Kestrine Rifle. Which takes plastic clumps as ammo. It looks like this in your hand. Actually, it has a pretty good model. And let's see how much damage it does real quick. Like two shots of sheep, so it does actually a decent amount of damage. Uh, but yeah, you just get these and you craft plastic clumps with plastic shards. Which... Are from like the crates on level one. And you craft this with plastic sheets, which are made from plastic scraps, which are made from plastic clumps, and string, and a CPU level two, which is made from CPU level ones, which are made from Mayforest and green dye. And Mayforest is, of course, mined. And wood and gunpowder. And a glass pane. And that's how you make the Kestine rifle. The Kestine rifle. Rather. Now, there's there is a new mechanic. Which I don't fully understand. So this is an electronic repair kit, which you craft by taking battery packs, which are another new uh, material, which are crafted by taking string and copper wire and two AA batteries. I have no idea. How, I'm guessing you get, like, uh, these from, a from the, you know, crates on level one. Uh, and then two CPU level twos. And that makes an electronic repair kit. Now, what you do with this electronic repair kit, so if I click on this, it says this com computer is in a repairable condition. There's ones I'll say that it's broken beyond repair, and there's ones I'll say nothing at all. But, if we click on it with this, it instantly repairs it. So what you then do with this is, you click on it, and it opens up this. There's a start menu thing, which doesn't work. There's an input command thing, which I haven't figured out yet. And there's this, which tells you, like, the computer's location and the general temperature. Anyway. So, yeah, that's that. Next, we're going to go over this, which is called the tar water bucket. This is something new that spawns on level 8, as far as I have found. It is a liquid that I'm, I'm spamming the jump button. You can't jump in this. You can't swim. It pulls you in. So the only way out is to, like, get to an edge like this and walk up. So yeah, that disables your jump. But then there's also two entities. They're not fully, like, spawning or anything, but they exist. We have the male death moth. Which, the model looks fucking great. Sound effect. I had to get away from that. Because, dear god, that is loud. Alright. And the female death moth. Okay, I have to turn off sound effect real quick. So, yeah. We have male and female death moths. Their models look great. They're clearly not fully functional yet. But they exist. And now we move on to the level introductions. Because there are new level things that have been done. So if I do slash execute. Uh, because I'm, I want to actually get to level 1 first. Because there's been a change on each level that can be reached. Except for like 6 and five 
and four, because four isn't finished yet. But up to three that has been changed to a completely new thing. If I run TP and do that, I teleport to a spawn area, of course. And actually, I'm going to turn on sound theme. So, as you can see, this is an entirely new little area. What this is, is the new spawn area. So this is this is representing the elevator. That's representing the stairwell. These are both two exits from level zero. And I'll do the same thing if you like go through an exit from level one. But I think it's bugged because so far I don't know how you get to like the level one corridors. So I think that might be an oversight with this new generation thing, because I've gone to the exits that normally take you there, they take you to, like, level 2. Which, that not, that's not an exit over there. I don't see any exits within, like, a reasonable distance. But yeah. As you can see, they have changed each one of these. So if I go to, like, level 2... It gets even worse, and as you can see, there's a stairwell, and there's the elevator. And also, if I jump through the stairwell, it actually does take you back to level 1, and back to the spawn area. It's a very nice touch. It's a very, very nice touch. All of them do that. You can actually go back to the past levels much easier. It's a very welcome change. However, I will say on, like, level 3, there's an oversight, because I did find a ladder to leave level 2. But when I go to like... And, and this is just me like having slight, n slight nitpick because this is added for immersion effect and it just like confused me as to why there was another ladder there. But there was like no ladder exit. That, 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 that's, just, that's just me being nitpicky occasionally. I apologize. Um, so if I go to like... Level 3. Level 3 is the one that got a major revamp. Like a major, major revamp. So this is level 3 right now. There's the stairway back down. I don't... And uh, there's the elevator that was, that like you could have taken to also get here. Um, but as you can see, level 3 is no longer just a hallway. It's fully fleshed out. It has, like, a bunch of different spots here. We have, like, these. And this is actually where you find the computers. And it looks really cool. Uh. But, yeah, as you can see, there's uh, been reworks to some of the systems. Level 3 got a full makeover. And became a fully fledged level. And here's one of the more interesting things. So, yeah, there's, like, these the hallways with the doors on each side. And there's electrical shit on the walls. But then there's also this, which has caution signs around it. And leads to a room with computers. And all of the... And another thing. All of the computers, for some reason, are linked. So, if you fuck with one, all of them have the same window open. And it's very annoying. I don't know if those are supposed to be broken in survival mode or not. Actually, let me go in survival mode real quick. Here, mode survival, please. So how do I break these? Okay, I just pick them up. Okay. Game mode. Creative. But of course, these crates right here. Which, actually, make sure... Right, please. So you guys can see. So yeah, as you can see, these crates right here, of course, they're like the level 1 crates. They drop bunches of stuff. You get all the shit you could ever need. So yeah, there's this window room. This is actually one of the more interesting rooms on level 3. Because occasionally that window won't just be won't just have a brick wall in front of it. Occasionally it'll actually have a room generated on the other side. And it just, it's just fitting. It's just a very fitting sight. 
There's another one of those rooms. That one's also got a brick wall in front of the window, though. I was hoping it would bless me with, like, you know, a room to an example of what I was talking about, but no. The game decided not to. But as you can see, this has been completely revamped. And it looks great. Like, in all honesty. This looks awesome. I love it. I have yet to find one of the exits to this. Like, I have yet to find a legitimate exit to, like, level 4. But level 4 is still not finished, which also... Uh, I know the developer's probably watching. I would love to know. Uh, when do you plan to finish level 4? Oh, yeah, here's another interesting room. Here's another interesting room. Ah, this is one of the exits. Okay. I didn't even... I missed this somehow. So, yeah, there's an elevator you can take. And also, also, I almost... Well, actually, this is why I wanted to find an exit at least once. Uh, so, they've changed the way elevators work. Um, I know I'm getting sidetracked from talking about, like, level 4, which was what I was talking about on the way here. But I'll talk about that in a minute. Um... So, there's... When you push the button... Instead of just teleporting to the next level, it actually teleports you into this. Which, actually... In looking at, like... Hold on. Dear God, I forgot how loud this was. So, yeah. In, in looking at, like, the enigmatic levels of the back rooms... I realized that um, they could have done something there with the uh, elevator thing. So in the enigmatic levels on the backrooms wiki, there's a level called Elevator Shaft. It um, literally is a, an enigmatic level that you can access by breaking the, or like uh, moving one of the light panels on in an elevator in the backrooms, and it'll open up to a giant elevator shaft where you can just hop onto another elevator and wind up in a different level on a random level kind of like the hub or the metro so i was thinking that could be a cool little uh, mechanic to add so developer if you like that idea there you go <laughs> it's a cool new idea for you if you're uh, short on like uh, what levels should be added or anything or want to add an enigmatic level, but don't know what one. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I already have, like, the the preset for that. You already have the elevator shaft. Or the elevator. All I need to do is add the shaft around it, and then boom. <laughs> also, uh, I would love to know, like, when this level will be complete. Level 4. Because I, I would love to see this fully made. Because this already looks great. Like, the way... All of these blocks are, like, laid out to showcase each and every block that's going to be in level 4. This this would look amazing. I can see this being really cool. It's going to be awesome once this is finished. Anyway. Um, I think... Yeah, that's all... That's all that's been added. Uh, so far as new features, new levels, new... Editions. Uh, that's all that exists. Actually, let me check really quick. Because I just remembered. Maybe I should check the metro. Uh, can I teleport to the metro? Uh, da -da -da. You know, I'll go to the hub first. I'm curious, does this have a spawn point or does this just spawn you in the middle of the This still spawns you in the middle of the thing. Uh so I guess I'll go to the Does the pool rooms do it? Did they add that to the pool rooms actually? Have they added a spawn zone to the pool rooms? No, it does not seem so. I guess because the pool rooms aren't actually, like, reachable yet. If we go to the metro... Let 
This already has like a preset. Ooh. They changed the sound effects here. Let me give them a little bit of a boost. So as you can tell, the Metro has had a slight upgrade. The sound effects definitely are louder than they used to be. If they were even there before. Um, but yeah, I think I am going to end this little uh, mod showcase here. As you can see, the Faithful Backrooms is still true to the name true to the name of, uh, you know, Faithful Backrooms. It's very faithful. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I think that's the, yeah, that's all I have to uh, show for this update. So, hey guys, I hope you all have enjoyed. If you wish to join the ranks of the SCP Foundation, don't forget to shoot that like button, slay those comments, and contain that subscribe button. Also, I need to get a slight bit of a uh, self promotion out of the way. Um, if you're a subscriber and wish to support me uh, in another way, please consider becoming a channel member. Um, it really helps a lot, and, uh, well, once I get enough channel members to actually, like, warrant putting out the channel member content, I will start putting out channel member content. But right now I only have, like, two channel members, so really, it would not make sense. <laughs> but yeah, um, I hope everyone has enjoyed. Peace, guys!